Hi everybody, just got all my stuff ready. Um, got very organised today, sharpened all my pencils up because I want to do the baubles today and I think it's going to need some sharper points than I do normally use. So we're all ready to go, but let's get at it. Um, now I've taken off the um, glassine paper because what will often happen is when you cover something up and you try not to lean on it, it's very helpful, but all the red fell down behind it, which which does which I kind of expected to happen really, but I had to have something to lean on. So I've been taking off the excess red off his little face here to um, help a bit, but when I put the white on there later, because all this is, is only basic, it's not finished by any means. His eyes are very crude at the moment. They look far better in the very basic print I've done. This isn't a nice print, it's just a very basic, uh, low quality print. I just wanted to get this idea really, and I just thought, well, okay, I'll copy it. But I'm gonna to need to use the um, computer screen, which is, I'm just uh, looking at it there on my left. So I'm copying that really. Um, but then close up, I'll be copying this just to get the, the shapes right. I'll just get into the right position on my little stool. The stool's fantastic actually, it's like a three sided saddle that twists right round. Um, so you're very mobile on it, which is great. So because this these baubles are surrounded by the green. For a start, I really want to get these nice and just pull my sleeves up. If I get pastel on here, I probably wouldn't get it out. Um, I just want to make these really round with the green because uh, I think it's probably just the best way to do it. Just make them nice and round. Then we can, we can cover that up with the flowery or the corally bits, whatever they are. But yeah, baubles must be round. I'm gonna have to lean on this. Still need to do a little bit of work on this middle one here. You know, now I look at it now, I could do much more with that. And I do like to do a bit of detail, but I don't want to don't really hold us up too much, so I may well do that um, on my own, I don't know. We'll see, see how it goes. And then this, it's about the same size as that really. It doesn't really, I don't think that's an issue, it's just that it needs to be round. This is very light. We can go over this colour, but it must be round. That's better. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need. Just a little bit off the corner there. And just dab it down. You don't want that green going into the baubles now. One's a little bit bigger than the other. Let's just see if we can make this one a bit smaller. That's a nice kind of height for that one with the leaf. Let's try and make this a little bit, a little bit smaller. Yes, that's better. It. See, look what happens when you lean on the picture. This is what happens. But luckily my trousers are nice and dark, so... <laughs> Just rub my hands on there. Um, yeah, so let's get cracking. So we want to start off with a basic, because they're cream, we'll start off with a basic creamy colour. Just try and put this on here somehow. So I've got something to lean on. There, we'll just try that. Just try not to make it go down there. Now we're just 
just going to colour in these baubles. We could do one at a time, but I think it's probably a good approach to do them both at the same time. And we'll get them the same colour that way. Just need to check that I'm not in the way here. That's it. Just looking at my iPad there. Somebody very kindly gave me recently to help me with this. Because when you're doing all this on a phone like I am, it's very awkward to see what the hell you're doing. You need something else. I've tried pairing it up with a uh, computer and that didn't work out very well. And I've put something on here called um, a power mirror. And it's, well, it's very intermittent working. It's not reliable, I wouldn't recommend it. But I've paid, so I've got a cap, I'm gonna use it. Paid for the year. But yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's a, you just think you've got it going and then um, stops. Which, you know, when you haven't paid for it, you think, oh, oh well. Because before you pay for it, they give you 10 minutes and it was all working great. It's working fine for 10 minutes. I thought, well, yeah, this will this will do. I'll, I'll get this. So I did. And um, well, now I've paid. It's a bloody different story. So yeah, don't bother with it. I suppose it's all right for if you've got certain things. My phone's quite, it's a couple of years old now, my phone. Um, it's got a very good camera on it, so I thought, well, I haven't got a decent camera, so when I started to do this about six months ago, I thought, yeah, I'll just use my phone. It's got the best camera on it, it's great. It's got a good microphone on it. I don't use a microphone or anything because it's so close to me. You know, I don't, don't really feel that I, I need to get a microphone. But if you all think I should have a microphone, let me know. If you think it sounds okay, and you can hear what I'm saying, I crank up the volume a bit when I'm editing, but that's helped. Thanks to somebody that pointed out she couldn't hear me early on. Um, so I do use the, the editing. I do, do all my editing on iMovie. Uh, I don't do a lot of editing actually. I just get the sound up, chop out the bits at the beginning where I'm practicing, trying to get it all right. Um, but most of the time I just delete those because they're so long sometimes. Today it's taken me ages because I've set the camera up in a different uh, spot entirely that I've never used before. And I'm very pleased actually, I think it's going to work out better. Because I've been setting up my camera right on the windowsill there, right next to the window. And um, that's half the problem, really. I, I couldn't get behind the camera to see what the hell was going on on it. That's why I had to get eye power mirror. A power mirror, whatever it's called. Um, just trying to get them equally round. Uh, so... I set it up as, as usual today in the window and um, because I wanted to be able to look at my screen as well, that way, the way I usually work is a little bit further over to the right and I couldn't see the screen properly, it's too far, too far away to, for me to see the detail in the flowers particularly because they're not finished. I really want to get them to look like Ponsettias. I mean, they look pretty, but I think there's a lot I could do on those yet. And if you're doing this drawing, if you're copying this, don't worry about getting it all perfect. Just get it how you're happy with it. Just use the colours that you want. You know, just use my drawing as a guide if you want. That's what it's for, really. I'm not here to say I'll use this and use that. I'm giving you the numbers of the pencils because, well, most other people that are doing art do that. 
and a lot of people do like that. If they want to care for guidance, they want to know the number of pencils. And when I remember, I do, I do give the numbers. But it doesn't mean to say you've got to use those numbers. And if you've got other makes of pastel pencil that I don't use, but they're similar colour, then yeah, I'll try those. Okay, that's, they're kind of round enough, I think. We can put some of the foliage stuff, the fur, round it off as well. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of use another, I'm going to try and use this kind of colour here to try and draw in, let's put the white highlights on first, put those on first, and I'm going to use the, the harder, the harder pencil just to get them in the right places. So that's kind of, it's not right in the centre, it's off centre to the right, and I'm looking how far away is it from the So you can still get it really nice and white, even over the yellow. I've put plenty of yellow on, as you've just seen. And then a bit over here. Now, highlights do need to be in the right positions. Otherwise, they don't look right. That's, that's got quite a way down here, see? And then we've got another lower one there. So we kind of want that up here looking at how far away it is from there. I'm looking at the centre of these highlights because they actually blur out a bit into the yellow. So that's what I'm looking at here. Just kind of getting them the right size. And then there's another one down here, look. It's lower and it's closer to this area here. It's not that much lower, so we want to go back here. the middle warble where it's got more of a harder edge. These are more gentle. So I'm just blowing it out a bit. exactly the same as that. So the light is coming straight on with this, which is going to make it a little bit more tricky to try and get the shadow under there to make all this look real. But I have to look into that before I attempt it, I think. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But um, everything's a learning curve and all are good. All good. Copying this one now. Get it right. Not pressing hard. If you press too hard, you'll you'll pack the, the paper pile down, and you won't be able to get a lot of pasta on there. Learn that the hard way. I used to press very very hard. Um, don't need to do that. Slightly down. Look at the distance between the highlights as well. That's smaller there. It's almost a little square there, actually. But the thing to do is uh, get the white in. And get the shape in after. It's a bit like doing pupils on eyes. You get the colour in and then you can finalise the shape of it with the colour of the iris. So this, say if you do an eyes, the white, the black, it would be a black pupil 
and then you can go round that to get nice and sharp with the colour of the iris and the colour of the eye. So yeah, doing baubles and foliage is totally new for me. The only thing I've done near foliage is uh, a bark. I did a little guinea pig many, many years ago. It was one of my first pictures. And I did the bark that the guinea pig was situated on. <sighs> uh, so that's the only other thing I've ever done. So I just want to show you that if you just copy everything, just as you see it, it can come together. Just have to go for it. Okay, so I'm going to go with this colour here now. Now, you can see we can use the top of the highlight there. Very, very gentle here. Very, 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 very gentle. And then it's kind of not going round, see? That line there is, is straight. It's coming quite close to the edge, but it's straight. Then you've got a little indent here. Hardly noticeable. And then I'm looking about how far away this is from the from the edge. Very, very thin line there. That's kind of there. And it's coming round from the edge back here. So all the time you're looking at the, the relations of one mark to the others. faded those bits out so this is going to look closer than it really will end up to that white highlight there so just pop it in there all right that's more or less it. and then we've got a little flick here just pop it in for now and this is coming in thicker there and then round round outside of the other highlight and then we've got a darker spot here yeah just fill that in a bit now just to mark that and this is coming bigger here keep doing that to take off the excess pastel um, then it won't flake off and then, then the, the next layers will is pretty well identical here. I want to get this mark just right on the, the way that's coming from the edge of it there. See that's the same angle. In round. Hardly anything there. Comes quite close. Yeah, and there. Yeah, see this will help us get the, the roundness. I, I might have to bring this up a little bit here. We'll just see how that goes. Mark 
close here. This one. Then let's join into that. It's quite pointy here. See, this is why drawing is so good for you. You know, it's good for your, um, the way you feel. Because you have to, you have to give it all of your concentration. And anything that you do, anything that you like to do, that you have to give all of your concentration to, is relaxing. Because you can't think about anything else. And even when you do, this just keeps you on track. You know, this is the job in hand. This is where your brain is. So you really can't think about anything else. It is, I think it is meditation. Because that's what meditation is. You just don't think about anything really and when you're drawing you are thinking but I don't know it's just there's something about it well, the kind of drawing that I like to do is it is quite methodical and um, that in itself is relaxing for me anyway very relaxing